the fruit that helps us fight. We are still in a spiritual battle. So much more is happening in the supernatural, in the spirit realm, than the natural realm. One of the things that we have to guard is to maintain our joy. We have an enemy that tries to steal it. The devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy, and he is after our joy. The enemy speaks to us and tries to infiltrate our mind with his lies. His lies build up a thought process in our brain and fills it with unbelief and fear. He relentlessly works on our weaknesses. We have to fight these things with joy that only comes from knowing God and living in His presence. Joy is the sign of every believer individually and it is even more evident as we gather together. It is an outward sign of what is going on deep on the inside. As the enemy tries to afflict us with depression, anxiety and despair, trying to take hold of our spirit, something on the inside rises up to overcome these things. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with sin. The Spirit moves inside of us to move the outward oppression attacking us. It takes a daily action to fight the things that come against us, which continually try to speak to us and steal our joy. The enemy speaks to us in such a way that makes us think it's true and logical and intelligent and very believable. But this is his deceptive lie. Joy is not an emotion. It is a fruit of the Spirit. It's an outward expression of the fullness of God on the inside. It's not produced in our own efforts. As we allow the Spirit to control our life, He produces the joy along with love, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Joy is like a well on the inside that is primed by the person of the Holy Spirit who chose to live inside us. As it rises, the enemy has to back off. In the midst of all of our challenges and suffering, we can still have joy. As we make a choice to worship, that joy will begin to rise up and dissipate those lies of the enemy that are trying to lodge themselves in us. Joy is coming. 
Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. There are shouts of joy at the time of great victory. He turns our mourning into dancing. God's desire is that we would have joy. He wants you to have joy. We may lose some of the battles along the way, but we win the war. No matter what the enemy tries to throw at us, we overcome. No weapon formed against us will prosper. All those that rise up against us will fall. I will continue to praise him until the Holy Spirit causes that joy to rise up within me and obliterate every lie that the enemy tries to get me to believe. He is a liar. God is truth. In His presence is fullness of joy. Abundance, fulfillment and joy are found in His presence. It is also where we find wisdom, safety and protection from those who would rise up against us. Abide in His love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. As we abide in His love, He gives us the joy that we need to get through the tough times. Come on.